the data for this problem are shown on the left. The first column is the number of kilometers run per week, and the second column is the marathon finish time in minutes. Beneath each column, I have already computed the mean and standard deviation for each variable. In order to compute a correlation by using the covariance, I need to first compute deviation scores. And a deviation score is just going to be one of the values minus the mean of the values. For example, if I want to compute deviation scores for x, which is the kilometers per week, I need to take each value and subtract it by the mean number of kilometers per week. And what I get in this first row is going to be 51 minus 67.3750. And that's going to be negative 16.375. For the second row, I take 68 minus 67.375 and I get 0 0.675. I continue in this fashion until I've computed the deviation scores for every observation of x. Now I need to do the same thing for my y variable, which is the marathon finish time in minutes. The deviation score is just going to be one of the values of y minus the mean of the y values. For the first observation, I take 216 minus 197.375, and what I get is 18.625. and I'll continue with the remaining observations. Now I have the deviation scores for both variables, and what I need to do now is multiply them. I need to take deviation scores for x and multiply them by the deviation scores for y. In this first observation, it's going to be negative 16.375 times 18.625, which is negative 304.9844. For the next row, I have 0.675 times negative 18.375, and that's going to be negative 11.4844. And I'll continue like this for the remaining observations. And to get the numerator for the covariance, I need to take the product of these deviation scores and add them up. And when I do that, I get negative 567.1252. And now to finish the covariance, I take that value, negative 567.1252, and divide it by the sample size minus 1, which is going to be 8 minus 1, and with that, I get negative 81.0179. And now I can just use this covariance and the product of my standard deviations to compute the correlation. And with that, I get negative 81.0179 divided by 
18.7536 times 10.6495. And that gives me negative 0 0.4057. The correlation between the number of kilometers run per week and the marathon finish time in minutes is negative 0.41. If I want to use this information to actually predict marathon finishing times, I can use my equations for the slope and intercept. The equation for the slope is going to be the correlation times the standard deviation of y divided by the standard deviation of x. And that's going to be negative 0 0.4057 times 10.6495 divided by 18.7536. That's going to equal negative 0 0.4057 times 0 0.5679, which equals negative 0 0.2304. What that tells me is that as you increase your weekly mileage by one kilometer, your marathon time decreases by 0.23 minutes. To get the intercept, what I need is y bar minus b times x bar. And that's going to equal to 197.375 minus negative 0 0.2304 times 67.375. And that's going to equal to 197.375 plus 15.5232. And the final result is 212.8982. If you wanted to predict a score using a value of x, we need to plug these values into our prediction equation. So the prediction equation is going to be y prime equals 212.8982 minus 0 0.2304 times the value of x. So if x was going to be 40, what I get is 212.8982 minus 0 0.2304 times 40 and that is going to be 203.6822. If I look back at my data, the last observation had an x of 40, and the actual y value was 203. According to my prediction equation, the predicted value is 203.68.